Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today you guys are going to be getting ready with me. I'm going to be doing my go-to everyday makeup look and all of the products that I have been obsessed with lately. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. Before I do my makeup, I always like putting something really moisturizing on my lips. Today we're going to be using the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I love this stuff. It brings so much product. It's really moisturizing and it smells really, really good. Like really, really good, you guys. I also don't have an actual mirror where I could look at myself while I get ready. So I'm going to be using my palettes. Like I'm going to be using the mirrors that come with my palettes to see what I'm doing because I don't know what happened to like my portable mirror. I lost it somewhere and all I have is like my huge vanity, but I can use that to film. Moving on. I always like to prime my skin before makeup. I feel like priming really does make a difference. What I like about this primer is that it's super light and it gives you like this glowy after look. It's the Luminous Blur Stick by Milk Makeup and it's this pretty gold shimmery color. I don't know, I really like it. I like anything that's like luminous and gold. That's my thing. You always have to use a brush to blend that primer out because it's like a, a stick form like you guys saw. So it doesn't go on evenly. I like to do my brows first because they take me a few minutes. And once that's out the way, I can move on to other things. You know what I almost forgot? I didn't put eye cream today. I always like to make sure I use eye cream because first of all, I'm obsessed with skincare. And it's really good to keep this area moisturized. That way your concealer doesn't crease up or get all cakey. It's good to make sure, I like to make sure it goes on smooth skin so that my concealer looks really good. I stopped doing color correcting for a while and now I'm kind of back to doing it because I feel like it really does make a difference um, with like my dark circles and any redness that might pop up because I get a lot of like red spots sometimes. So color correcting does help. And this isn't even a color corrector. This is a L'Oreal concealer, but it's very red. This is the Pro Glow concealer, which I really like the Pro Glow. Pro -Glow. Oh my God, I can't say that. Pro Glow concealers. This isn't my shade. This is just a shade that I use to color correct because it's so red. I'm trying to find the color. I cannot find the color, but it's a super red shade. I don't know, it, it goes on really red and I feel like it really helps tone down any like darkness that I have underneath my eyes. And then I like to put whatever I have left over on my lid because sometimes my lids also get kind of dark. So I use it in that way. Oh my God, you guys, this foundation, I love it so much. Thank you, Jackie Ina, for collabing with Too Faced because they came out with new shades and I'm one of the new shades. I'm using the shade Praline and I don't know what it is about this formula, but it's really working for my skin. I love the way it looks. I literally, I have not found one thing that I don't like about this formula. It just really works for me. And normally I have the issue where my foundation and makeup sinks into my smile lines and my you could like really see my smile lines cracking up throughout the day. But with this one, I don't really have that problem. It, I don't know what they did, but I love this foundation. Like I haven't even tried any, I have so many new products that I wanna try, but I don't wanna not use this foundation. That's how much I love it. It looks like your skin, it's very, it's kind of dewy, but it's not too much because my skin is on the more like oily side, especially when it's hot out. And it's just the right amount of dewy. It's like a natural glow. Instead of being dewy, it's more like a natural glow. Whatever I have left over, I do like to drag it down my neck so that everything matches. And then we'll fix it up later with a brush. After I'm done filming, I'm getting on Amazon and I'm ordering a mirror because I cannot keep filming like this. <laughs> Look at how good my skin looks, insane. I don't even feel like I need another layer of it. Usually I build it up, but my skin's looking really good today. Always thirsty. All right, for concealer, I'm also using the Born This Way concealer. And I like how much product it brings. I like the brush. The tip of it is also shaped like a triangle, so I feel like it makes it really easy to get in certain areas in your face, like your inner eyes, like the inner corners of your eyes. And it's also meant like in case you wanna conceal. So like if you wanna conceal directly with this brush, you can just easily do that with this brush. 
and it's a lot of product. I try to remember not to apply too much because it's a lot. A little goes a long way with this baby. By the way, I'm gonna list all of the products that I use and the shades that I use in the description box for you guys. That way I don't have to keep checking while I'm filming. I'm also putting some on my eyes because I kind of use this as an eye primer as well. Whatever concealer I'm using, I'll normally also use as an eye primer. I feel like concealers work a little bit better for me as eye primers instead of actual eye primers. Then we just blend like always. I'm using the same beauty blender to blend this out. When it comes to like my everyday look, I like to look put together like, yes, I'm wearing a little bit of makeup. I look cute, but not too much where it's like, where are you going after this? Like if I run into anyone at the supermarket or something. I don't know. I feel like a lot of times my makeup looks better when I don't do the most. Like when I make it look a little bit more natural, even though to some people this probably is not natural, but to me, this is my natural. I always switch up how I set my concealer and lately I've been using my beauty blender to set and all I do is use my Kat Von D shade and light palette and I take that middle shade right here, the yellow one, and I just pick it up with my beauty blender and apply that directly where I want to set my concealer. I feel now like when I set my concealer a little bit goes a long way as well like before I used to put so much powder and it wasn't working for me like it was ending up looking a little bit too cakey it would do the opposite of making the concealer last so i feel like this method is just working for me a lot better and for contour because i always gotta do a little contour even if it's a baby contour i'm using the middle bronzing shade right here and i'm taking this little dome shaped brush this is from real techniques and we're just gonna do a little contour a little powder contour if it's one thing that I think I will never skip is bronzer. Cause I just feel like for me, bronzer just brings my face back to life after I've done foundation. So I don't care if I skip blush and highlight, I need a little bronzer at least. Speaking of bronzer, this one is so good. It's by It Cosmetics. I think it's a new product of theirs is the Bye Bye Pores Bronzer. Already a pan and it hasn't even been that long. But what I like to do is just take a large brush and bronze with my skin. We're also gonna do a little blush. Oh my God. This smells so good, you guys. This is by CoverGirl and it's the Peach Punch Highlighter Palette. It has a highlight, a blush, and a bronzer. And it's this is the, one of the best lighting products ever. We are doing just a little bit of this blush because I feel like it's super peachy. Like, I don't need all that much. There we go. Now for eyes, for the eyes. Let me show you what I've been doing. So to set my makeup, I've been using the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. And I also use it to set my eyes before I do eyeshadow. So what I do, and by the way, this is the medium shade, the medium or the tan shade, I forget what it's called. I have this flat brush. This is by Morphe, the M166 brush. And as you can see, it's just a very flat brush. So I take some of the powder and I just start packing it on my eyelids to set the concealer that we used as eye primer. For the eyes, I'm keeping it really simple. I'm using my Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I love this palette so much. You can literally create every single type of look possible. Like look at all of these colors, look at all of the shades, or shimmers, or mattes, or bolds, or neutrals. I love it. I'm gonna pick up the color called Riff, which is this shade right here. We're just gonna work that into our crease, just to give these eyes some dimension. And as I work that into the crease, I also kind of drag it down to the rest of my eyes. The brush that I used is the Morphe M441 brush. This brush is from a company called Crown Pro, and this is the C511 brush. And I'm gonna pick up the color called Blaze. It's this really ethereal looking shade right here. It's kind of, it looks kind of gold, but when you put it on, it has like this holographic look to it. I don't know how to describe it, but it's so, so pretty. And basically, I'm just going to press it onto my eyelids. 
and work it up towards the crease. Now to highlight underneath my brows, I'm gonna go in with the Week Under shade right here. It's a matte neutral shade because I don't wanna add any more shimmer. And we're just gonna pop that right underneath our brow bone. And you know that same color that I use for my crease? I'm literally gonna use the same color right on my lower lash line. I feel like I always have to do a color on my lower lash line, like no matter what. I don't think I've ever done my makeup and not done a color on my lower lash line unless I did absolutely no eyeshadow. Maybe that's the only case, but I always, always have to do a color on my lower lash line, even if it's something really subtle like this. For highlight, I'm actually not gonna be highlighting everywhere like I normally do. I'm only going to be applying highlight right at the tip of my nose, because I feel like that's a must, and down the bridge of my nose as well. Like I said, this is just like my go-to everyday look. If I was going out like at night or anything like that, I'd probably add a whole bunch of highlight because I do love to highlight, but I don't know. I kind of haven't been highlighting as much for my everyday look. This is the Too Faced setting powder from before. We are going to set our makeup with this. And I mainly like to focus it where I get shiny, which is like on my forehead down the bridge of my nose and this area right here. I always start to crease up in that area the most. The little setting spray. This is my Morphe setting spray. It's so good, you guys. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it, but I'm probably like the last person that's ever picked it up because this came out a while ago and I'm finally just trying it. By the way, off camera, I used my NARS Climax Mascara. I love this mascara just because it makes your lashes so long. I've pretty much been wearing this with no false lashes, but today for the video, we are gonna add some false lashes because I love these little wispy light lashes that I always wear and I wanna show you guys how it looks. Do not forget to add mascara to your lower lashes. I always leave this for last. And I'm just gonna use the same mascara as earlier that you guys didn't get to see me use on camera. For lips, we're gonna be using two products. One is a lip liner from Morphe, and this is in the shade Sweet Tea. I, I feel like I found my perfect nude lip liner because this nude, I don't know, it's so different. It's not like super brown. I don't know how to describe it, guys, but it seriously is my perfect lip liner. And now lipstick. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Nude Kate lipstick. This is another like perfect nude for me. All right guys, so this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for getting ready with me. I love these more talkative makeup videos. I feel like I'm just talking to you guys as friends. I hope you enjoyed the look. I feel like it's super basic. This is my go-to everyday look. These are the products that I've been using pretty much every single day. When I find products that I like, I will use them until like I'm pretty much forced to try something new. But I love these. They've been working for me really great and maybe you'll find something that you love as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button on my page, give it a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.